Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV, and for today's field trip, we're going to be taking a look at a Japanese Type 14 Nambu pistol. Now, we have shot this pistol for a video in the past, and that did not go so well. I'll put a link to that video in the description and in the end card if you guys want to check it out, but uh, yeah, that was a pretty scary moment. But the Type 14 was a very prolific pistol. They actually made hundreds of thousands of these things. Um, a lot of times people will say that they were influenced by the Luger, maybe in form, but certainly not in function. But to start the field strip, just lock the bolt to the rear, press the firing pin extension on the back of the bolt, and rotate the cocking knob counterclockwise until it comes off of there. Now once you've got that off of there, you can remove the firing pin extension and spring, as well as the actual firing pin. Now this next part's a little unusual. What you're going to do actually is replace the cocking knob. And now remove your magazine, but keep a firm hold on the bolt because that's what's holding the bolt to the rear. So remove the magazine and then slowly ease the bolt forward. Now for the next step, you're going to want to have a flathead screwdriver handy because you're going to remove both grip panels. I did not say field stripping one of these was going to be easy or convenient. But, yeah, this is unusual that at this time they required a screwdriver to field strip a pistol. By the time the Type 14 was designed, we had pretty much gotten past that in the West, but the Japanese, I guess, didn't really see it as a huge detriment. So, it is what it is, I suppose. It is noteworthy that some pistols, like the FN 1900, did require a flathead uh, to go ahead and disassemble. So once you've got your grip panels and your screws that retain them set aside, push the magazine release and pull the trigger guard down and that will remove the whole assembly. So go ahead and, and remove the magazine release and spring and set those aside because that little spring is itty bitty and it will roll off the table and you'll never find it. Set the pistol on safe. And at this point you can go ahead and remove the cocking knob. Once you do that, the pistol will spontaneously disassemble itself if you're not basically prepared for it as it did here. So now you can go ahead and remove the locking piece, remove the bolt from the rear, set those springs aside. Take a good look at your bolt, make sure everything's nice. as well as the actual upper and you've got a fully field strip type 14 Nambu pistol so yeah you know these aren't guns that I shoot a whole lot because I've had terrible luck with them they are really not reliable um, I know some Japanese military historians that say even the type 94 is a better gun for what that's worth and I once called that the most dangerous gun on the planet so take that as you will but like I said if you'd like to see this gun firing and understand why I'm a little apprehensive to continue shooting it a whole lot Go ahead and click the link in the end card here or in the description, and it'll take you right there. Anyways, big thanks to Ventura Munitions. Hope to see you all next time.